we now discuss the solution of a problem from the section real analysis and and the problem is based on the concepts of limit superior and limit inferior this problem appeared in CSIR national eligibility test held on 26th November 2020 and the question is from the section B and it carries uh, three marks. The problem is let En n is equal to 1 to infinity be a sequence of subsets of the set of real numbers. Define limit superior En as n tends to infinity is equal to intersection k is equal to 1 to infinity union n is equal to k to infinity of en limit inferior as n tends to infinity of en is equal to union k is equal to 1 to infinity intersection n is equal to k to infinity of the sets en which of the following is true option 1 limit superior en is equal to limit inferior en option 2 limit superior en is the set of all those elements x x belongs to e power e n e suffix n for some n option 3 limit inferior en is equal to the set of all those elements x belongs to e e suffix n for all but finitely many n. Option 4. Limit inferior en is equal to the set of all those elements x belongs to en for infinitely many n. Let us now discuss the solution of this problem. We are given limit superior en is equal to intersection k is equal to 1 to infinity union n is equal to k to infinity of en. Now take k is equal to 1 then the union starts from n is equal to 1 to infinity you, you will get e1 union e2 union e3 union so on so forth intersection k is equal to 2 and the union starts from n is equal to 2 to infinity e2 union e3 union e4 union so on so forth intersection a k is equal to 3, it will start from E3, e union E4, union E5, so on so forth and the intersection and it continues. And limit inferior of En is equal to union, k is equal to 1 to infinity of the intersection, n is equal to k to infinity of En. When k is equal to 1, the intersection will be from n is equal to 1 to infinity, e1 intersection, e2 intersection, e3 intersection, so on so forth. Union, when k is equal to 2, the intersection starts from n is equal to 2 to infinity and it will get e2 intersection, e3 intersection, e4 intersection, so on so forth. Union, for, n is, for k is equal to 3, you will get uh, e3 inter intersection, e4 intersection, e5 intersection so on so forth and the union continues. Now, now we will take the limit inferior en and uh, now expand these things using distributive loss. We will get, we will get uh, using the distributive loss and uh, taking the first, the union with the second, then for that the union of the third and so on so forth if you get it, then you will get uh, with the E1, E1 union E2 union E3 etc. it goes on. Intersection, intersection E1 union E3 union E4 this. Intersection E1 union E4 union E5 intersection so on and so forth it continues. Now this is uh, this is uh, with respect to this set E1. Now start with E2. E2. So intersection, intersection E2 union E3 union E4 so on so forth. Intersection E2 union E4 union E5 intersection so on so forth. So on so forth. That is the 
that is with respect to e2 with respect to e3 similarly e3 union e4 union e5 intersection e3 union e5 union e6 so on so forth intersection all such intersections you have to consider the unions like this so this is the job of the e3 is over and and so on and so on now look at the first line first line this is with respect to e1 and and uh, this is contained in because is the intersection of several things it is containing contained in intersection of any one of them so is with respect to the first one so it is contained in the first one e1 union e2 union e3 union so on so forth and uh, this second line this is contained in e2 intersection e3 union e2 union e3 union e4 so on so forth contained in e3 union e4 union e5 so on so forth so if you see this is same as in the limit superior the first term is same as this second is this third is this now take all of them all of them all of them then that is contained in this you intersection this intersection this so this is contained in the first one intersection the second one intersection the third and so on so forth but now this one the highlighted one what is this this is precisely limit superior e n so this tells you limit inferior e n is contained in limit superior e n so and note that uh, it is a strict containment it is a strict containment now consider the statement that is given in the option 1 limit superior is equal to limit inferior and uh, we want to say that this is not true to say that we have brought you a, a counter example the counter example is consider en is a, a sequence of sets en is equal to the singleton 1 if n is odd and the doubleton the sets 1 comma 1 by 2 if n is even such sequence of sets you consider now limit superior en according to our definition intersection k is equal to 1 to infinity of the union n is equal to k to infinity of en and which we have already written this one now now even is singleton 1 union e2 is a doubleton 1 comma 1 by 2 e3 singleton 1 and so on so forth so the both this uh, both these uh, sets will be coming in each of these brackets these brackets and the union it will be 1 comma 1 by 2 the set intersection this also the same set intersection the same set that is equal to this doubleton set consisting of 1 comma 1 by 2 that is the limit superior of en now consider limit inferior of en let's take the definition and uh, expand it you get this one now e1 the singleton 1 intersection the doubleton 1 comma 1 by 2 by that singleton 1 you will get and in each one of them singleton 1 you will be getting so singleton 1 union singleton 1 union singleton 1 is equal to singleton 1 so the limit inferior is uh, e of en is the singleton 1 watch now limit inferior of en is contained in limit superior en that's what we have proved in general setup and this shows limit superior of en is not equal to limit inferior of en so thus the statement that is given in the option 1 is not true let's consider the 
statement given in option 4. Limit inferior En is equal to the set of all those elements x belongs to En for infinitely many n. Uh, for this consider again the above example that is En is the singleton 1 if n is odd, the doubleton 1 comma 1 by 2 if n is even. We have seen in the last slide limit inferior of En is the singleton set 1. If we say that the option 4 is true, then limit inferior of En must be the set of all those elements x belongs to En for infinitely many n. So, the 1, 1 comma 1 by 2, no, will appear in infinitely many En. So, if you say the option 4 is true, then the limit inferior of En is equal to the doubleton set 1 comma 1 by 2. Why? Because 1, the elements 1 comma 1 by 2 belongs to En for infinitely many n. So, it is a contradiction. Why it is a contradiction? Limit inferior of En is singleton 1 but not uh, the doubleton 1 comma 1 by 2. It is a contradiction. This contradiction is because if you say your option 4 is true, then you get a contradiction. This it tells you that your option 4 is not true. Now, of consider the statement given in option 2. Limit superior En is equal to the set of, set of all those x belongs to En for some n, for some n, all those elements x belongs to en for some n will constitute the limit superior en. For this, we modify the earlier example. That is, en is equal to the singleton 0 if n is 1. And the singleton 1 if n is odd and n not equal to 1. And that doubleton 1 comma 1 by 2 if n is even. Then, limit superior will be this definition and expanded you will get this one. Now, E1 is singleton 0 union E2 singleton 1 union E3 1 comma 1 by 2. The first bracket will have the this one is the set consisting of three elements 0, 1 comma 1 by 2. From there onwards 1 comma 1 by 2, 1 comma 1 by 2 the sets will be coming. So, 0, 1, 2 and the set consisting of 1 comma 1 by 2 and so on and so forth. And uh, all their intersection is the set consisting of 1 comma 1 by 2 that is the limit superior En. But if you say that uh, the statement given in option 2 is true then limit superior of En must contain 0 comma 1 comma 1 by 2. Why? Because 0 belongs to E1 and 1 belongs to E2, 1 by 2 belongs to E3. So, if you say the option 2 is true, the limit superior is this one. But this is not so. Its limit superior is the doubleton set consisting of 1 comma 1 by 2. It is not so. So, therefore, this option 2 is not true. So, we recall those uh, definitions of limit superior and limit inferior and consider 3. Limit inferior of En is the set of all those x belongs to En for all but finitely many n and we prove it. This is a true statement. X belongs to limit inferior En is equal to union k is equal to 1 to infinity intersection n is, e n is equal to k to infinity of En implies and implied by X belongs to X belongs to the intersection n is equal to k to infinity en for some k belongs to n. This is the union. This is the union. So, therefore, x belongs to 
one of the for for some k belongs to n of this one so x belongs to this intersection for some k belongs to n this is if and only if x belongs to ek intersection ek plus 1 intersection ek plus 2 so on so forth this if and only if x belongs to ek x belongs to ek plus 1 x belongs to ek plus 2 so on so forth this is if and only if x belongs to en for all n greater than or equal to k for all n greater than or equal to k this is if and only if x belongs to en for all but finitely many n that is uh, up, uh, uh, that is n is equal to 1 2 3 up to k minus 1 barring those things and this is true for all n will greater than or equal to k therefore x belongs to en for all but finitely many n this proves uh, the limit inferior of en is the set of all those x belongs to en for all but finitely many n and option 3 is true so for all practical purposes the problem we have answered the problem and uh, the true statement is the option 3 and the remaining are all not true now I want to prove such a statement as we have seen the, the statement for limit inferior of en. I want to prove for such a statement for limit superior en in the next slide. I want to prove limit superior en is equal to the set of all those x, x belongs to en for infinitely many n. How do we do? x belongs to the limit superior en is equal to the definition. So, x belongs to this. So, x belongs to if and only if x belongs to union n is equal to k to infinity en for every k belongs to n because this is the intersection for every for every k belongs to n. This is if and only if x belongs to e k union e k plus 1 union so on so forth. This is if and only if x belongs to e n for some for some n greater than or equal to k greater than for some n in one of them one of them greater than or equal to k. So this is if and only if for every k belongs to n x belongs to e n for some n greater than or equal to k. So what does it say? It says x belongs to e n for infinitely many n. So therefore limit superior e n is equal to the set of all x. x belongs to e n for infinitely many n. This is the true statement. Thus the option and using this the option to the limit superior e n and the set x belongs to e n for some n is not true also. So using this you can also say this but we have given a counter example there. So that is the discussion of the solution of a problem from the section real analysis and uh, the problem is based on the concepts of limit superior and limit inferior of the sequence of sets. I hope that you have understood the solution of the problem and uh, work out uh, similar problems and uh, I wish you all the best. Thank you.